Hello everyone. In continuation to our topic research methods, this statement is a popular statement. A problem well defined is a problem half solved. Let us understand what is the meaning of this uh, statement. This statement actually suggests that clearly understanding and articulating a problem is a very necessary step or a crucial step towards finding a solution. Defining a problem clearly helps to concentrate efforts on the root cause rather than getting bogged down by symptoms or secondary issues. A well-defined problem statement helps to identify the key elements such as the key stakeholders, constraints and goals. A clear problem definition serves as a guide directing the search for solutions and evaluating potential approaches. Once we clearly define the problem, that based on that, that itself will tell us how to pro proceed for looking for solutions and which are the approaches we need to adopt. By understanding the problem accurately, we can avoid investing time and resources in pursuing irrelevant and ineffective solution. A well-defined problem statement facilitates communication and collaboration among team members, stakeholders or experts, ensuring everyone is working towards the same goal. Where everywhere well-defined, the problem if it is well-defined, it is useful in every application. Let us see some few applications. One is in general business. For example, in business, if you are doing a project management, you need to define the project scope very clearly because that will help in managing your client expectations and avoiding scope creep. Scope creep means spending some extra money or resources because of not defining your scope clearly. Engineering. In troubleshooting technical issues, precisely identifying the problem ensures that correct diagnostic tests are performed and that will lead to quicker and more accurate repairs. What are all the different techniques available for defining a problem? Well, the most popular method is 5 Y's technique. Means by repeatedly asking why, to peel away the layers of the symptoms and reach the root cause. Ultimately, you need to identify the root cause of the given problem. Another methodology is fishbone diagram or Ishikawa diagram. Or you can also call it as a cause and effect diagram. Here you identify and categorize potential causes of a problem to understand its root. SWOT analysis, evaluating strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats to get a comprehensive view of the problem. Another methodology is brainstorming. It's a very effective technique for defining a problem because it allows us to explore different perspectives and generate a broad range of potential research questions. Literature review, going through magazines, going through old research reports, going, going through old case studies, uh, studying journals, magazines, anything related to the topic in the net. So that is the literature review. Technique that involves reviewing existing literature on the topic. It is effective for defining problem since it helps the researcher to identify the knowledge gaps. You may be knowing certain things, but by reading that, you may know something new. So you understand the gap between what you are knowing and what you are learning new and determine the most appropriate research methodology and design. So these are different methods. Briefly understand what exactly 5Y analysis with an example. Consider a problem a manufacturing company is facing as high rate of defective products. Then first question you are asking, 
Why are we seeing a high rate of defective products? First, why? For that, the answer you got is because the machines are producing faulty parts. Then second, why? Why are the machines producing faulty parts? For that, you got a reply because the machines are not being properly maintained. Then third, why? Why are the machines not properly maintained? Not being properly maintained. For that, you got an answer because the maintenance team is not following the scheduled maintenance routine. Whatever they might have made a preventive maintenance plan, according to that plan, they are not following. Why is the maintenance team not following the scheduled maintenance routine? For that, you got an answer because they are understaffed and lack the necessary resources. Means number of manpower required is not there and any other tools, equipments, what they want for doing the maintenance activity that they are lacking. Why are they understaffed and lack the necessary resources? This is the fifth why you are asking. For that, you got an answer as because the company has not invested in hiring more maintenance personnel or to the existing maintenance personnel also, there is no adequate training happened. Means ultimately it comes to the investment or the money involved in them. So you identify the root cause as lack of investment in maintenance personnel and resources. So why five times you are asking why and get an answer for each time. From the answer, you are asking one more question starting with why to get an answer. Again, from that answer, you are asking one, you are creating one more question. Ultimately, the idea is to identify the correct root cause of the given problem. Note that the number of whys may vary depending on the complexity of the issue, but the goal remains the same, mainly to uncover the underlying root cause. This is how FIY analysis is being done.